Hendricks is officially the sexiest woman alive, according to Esquire magazine. She's also the star of Mad Men, two new movies. I don't know how she does it, and Drive, and I'm delighted to say that she joins me now. Christina, how are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Do you wake up every day looking in the mirror and thinking, you're the sexiest woman alive? <laughs> no, sir, I do not. That's not the first thing I think in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Come on, when you look in the mirror, when Christina Hendrick looks in the mirror, I what think, do you uh, what do I have to do today? <laughs> <laughs> I loved that Esquire interview because it had so many lovely nuggets in it. Not least of which was you don't you don't like being called beautiful because you sort of think it's boring and, and tired. You'd rather be called radiant, enchanting, smouldering, intoxicating, charming, or even fetching. Listen, I have no problems with being called beautiful. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> I think the question was probably proposed to me in a very different way, and. and um, and I just said, you know, my husband happens to use really wonderful adjectives, and it's very, very flattering, and it's very nice. Well, some of these are some of these are, are British. I mean, things like fetching. I don't hear any American man say that to a woman. So it must have come from your dad. This is the British gene in you, isn't it? My father never said fetching. <laughs> really? I've got my husband's a real sort of classic, old-fashioned kind of guy. So he and and um, and he's an artist, and so he he's. He's a little more creative. Is he? I mean, is he as ridiculously romantic as he seems? He is. He is. I don't want to, like, put him on the spot. Now he's going to go around town and, and feel like he's got to <laughs> talk about all his romantic things he does. But he really is. He's wonderful. And how does he deal with the fact that there are millions and millions, if not billions of men around the world now who are coveting his wife? <laughs> well, that's very sweet of you to say. I... Um, <laughs> He he laughs and says, I told you all this years ago. Um, he's like, I said it first. I want to play a little clip from Mad Men, obviously, and then uh, we'll come back and discuss your work in that remarkable show. Thank you. Well, I was just made Director of Agency Operations. It's titled No Money, of course. And if they poured champagne, it must have been while I was pushing the mail cart. A pretty face comes along, and everything goes out the window. Well, I learned a long time ago to not get all my satisfaction from this job. That's a bull****. You see, here's, here's the dilemma I'd imagine, this reading interviews that you've given before, is that you are an incredibly talented actress, and yet I would say 90% of all the attention that's given to you goes around how you look. And you've, you know, you've sort of complained, but you accept it goes to the territory, but you feel with it slightly belies your acting ability. Does it annoy you? Um, you know, people have been very positive and, and, and complimentary, which, which is really nice. But, um, you know, I, I'm an artist, and I'm, I'm excited about the projects that I'm working on, and, I, and I'm excited about Mad Men and these movies. And, and so I, I would rather talk about what I'm working on, you know? <laughs> I mean, I love all the glamour of femininity in, in Mad Men, but... Obviously, it's pretty sexist as well, isn't it? The women don't get treated that way by most of the men. There's yeah. a kind of uh, slight dilemma there, isn't there? Yes, I mean, I think that's one thing that's really interesting about the show is there's something very naughty about the show, and there's and for some reason it's sexy, and people are confused by that and, and why they're feeling that way. And I think one thing that people love about the show from the very beginning is that it really um, gets people asking questions and sitting around and saying, this wasn't that long ago. Have we really changed? Do I feel that different in the office place? Um, and that's why people really like the show week to week, too. And, and I know that a lot of people have Mad Men viewing parties, too, because I think it, it causes conversation afterwards. Do you think things have moved on? I mean, do you think we are in a much better place now? Or yes. do you think that kind of yes, overt, do. male-dominated regime still exists. I, I think that we are in a much better place now. I think there's a lot to still change. But I do I do believe that in 2011 um, we have made great strides and that women feel much more comfortable in the workplace and at home. Um, but, you know, there, there are some human natures that just exist. <laughs> there certainly are. We're going to come back after the break, Christina. We're going to talk uh, about not one of your new movies, but two new movies opening. I want to talk to you about those when we come back. Okay.